gonna get settled in here for a So, been hearing some things. Look, tests, changes. Oh, why does it, this happens every time? Every time. Every time. Every single damn time. When y'all gonna understand, ASW, they don't think. They don't think when they make balance changes. They rely on good players and good information and having players show them, like, are you guys stupid? Look how stupid you guys are. Look at this. Look at this. These are the people that made CS1 Valkenheim. These are the people that made CS2 Noel and Makoto. These are the people that made... Oh, that's right, CS1 Ragna was also pretty damn stupid. I heard Extend Ragna was also incredibly stupid, but I don't know. These are the people that made CS1 Lychee. These are the people that made Kokonoe. These are the people that have no damn clue what they're doing. Why y'all freaking out every time they do a new Loke test? <laughs> or more balance changes? And you're like, oh my god! What is Arc System Works thinking? How could they do this? This is ridiculous! Yes! Yes, it is! That's how they do it! <laughs> like they, they don't know what they're doing. They really, I really firmly believe that now. And there's basically two quotes floating around that I have seen that maybe you haven't seen. Um, the first one comes from Mori, and he basically says, "When we're looking at Blaze Blue, we don't really care about balance. We want to make the game fun to play." Which I think is kind of. I understand the concept of it. I do understand, you know, like we would rather have a game that's enjoyable to play versus a game like Virtual Fighter, which is just like, you know, like Virtual Fighter is an extremely well balanced. It's infamous for being incredibly well balanced, but it's not exactly an exciting game. And so I think that's kind of where it's coming from. But then you can go too far to the other side too, where your game is just an absolute mess. And because it's such a mess and so unbalanced, it's not fun to play. I mean, there are games that have kind of gotten their rocks off. Marvel is a famous <laughs> fighting game series that have basically gotten their rocks off for being unbalanced messes. But they were still f enjoyable for a good reason. And I don't think Blaze Blue, as a system, as a game, can be an unbalanced mess like Marvel and still be enjoyable. It's just it's not that kind of game. Um, but still, talk. I I, I don't want to get into like specific character changes overly much because they're not gonna last. I think that I think I've heard that they're gonna be doing three. Oh, I didn't even get into the second quote. I'll do that. The second quote was that uh, I can't I can't remember who it's from. I don't know names. I'm terrible with names. But it was another guy that works for Arc System Works who basically said like. Don't think of these changes as necessarily, you know, a balance attempt, but rather we're trying to make each character more of what they are. I, I, I should have to, I should have looked, I should have had these quotes ready so I could have actually said the exact quote of it, but basically what they're saying is, you know, like they have a specific vision for what each character should be good at, what each character should be bad at, and that's what they're trying to do here. They're trying to make them, uh, equal to that vision so you know like rather than having a catch-all you know great at everything character they're trying to make you know Azriel's the um high pressure character with no defensive options which is why they've nerfed growler growler is no longer well at least as of these current low tests as growler is no longer a reversal it doesn't have reversal properties anymore it is solely a projectile absorbing move um stuff like that but i just some of the ch I, I don't know man like it's I don't think you should ever be shocked or surprised or like, you know, trying to figure out the logic behind their changes. I don't think they, like, I think they're just, what they're trying to do basically is, let's, this is crazy, this is insane, but let's try it because this isn't going to be the final build of the game and let's see how players react. I think that's the main point of these kinds of things. You know, like, I've been... I'm trying to think of the proper word. I have been very... Not harsh. But I guess just negative in general on Arc System Works lately. Like, I just... I don't care about them as a company. I don't want to support them as a company because I feel like... I don't know. I just... I don't like their decisions. 
And it's the same thing here where it's kind of like they're doing this for a reaction, not because it's something they want to keep around. They're doing it for the reaction, just to be like, hey, look at us. Look what we're doing. This is crazy. This is crazy, right? Tell us we're crazy. And I just, I dislike that. I, I don't think that's a good idea. But I think the major thing that's coming out of this so far is what I guess is being termed Overdrive Raid, which is you can now, in block stun, go into Overdrive. It's terrible. It's utterly terrible. Like, to have a tool like this, where you basically have to... I mean, it's kind of like... It's like a worse version of X-Factor, to be perfectly honest, because with X-Factor... It's not that potent of a tool if you use it early on in a match. Um, you know, it's obviously very scary. Level 3 X-Factor is obviously very scary, and that is one thing you really have to be considering is making sure your pressure is safe so you don't just get X-Factor guard canceled and blown up by a level 3 character, and then you have to deal with that. But there is no level 1 X-Factor. There is no level 2 X-Factor. There's no level 3 X-Factor. There's no... Okay, take this character from me. That's fine. Kill it. Don't care. I can live without it. I got my next character coming in. There, there. You don't have that in Blaze Blue. You have your one character, and most characters can output enough damage in Overdrive with a punish like that that they can basically roll through 50 to 75 percent of your health, just depending on how well they punish you. Like Tager. Tager's the one that's being pointed to. Is this is a terrible change because you were basically going to have to be scared out of your mind for Overdrive 720 at all times like there's just what are you gonna do about it you have to be fr you have to respect that you cannot get away with disrespecting that kind of thing so I think it's terrible I think it needs to go but we'll see and like I said I don't want to get into like specific because obviously I don't know all the specific character stuff like I know Tager, most of Tager's changes um, Azrael didn't actually have very many changes so I know most of his I know bullets changes, but I, just, I don't want to get into them because it's pointless right now. They're, it's not a final list. They're tweaking things like mid. They're tweaking things right now, like apparently from one low test to the next. Like they have a low test session, they compile all their notes, they make a few changes. People come back and they're like, oh look at this, this just changed, this just changed. So like, even in the midst of like the official low test, which I guess is probably happening just for like a week or something stuff is changing so nothing is permanent and I feel like discussion on the specific changes um, ultimately is kind of fruitless because like they're not I don't they're not looking they're not looking at stuff like this commentaries from me they're not looking at online forums of people that aren't there they're getting they only care about the input from the people that are there and playing the game and so I think it's a waste of time. That's why I'm not going to get into character-specific stuff. I think it's a waste of time. But I do think, ultimately, y'all y'all need to calm down. It's all over, like, dust loot. Any kind of forum right now is just freaking out. Like, what are these changes? They're so ridiculous. Like, yes, they're ridiculous. That's I think that's the point. I think that's entirely the point. And I don't think they're going to stick around. Like, we'll see. I mean, honestly, my first reaction, just to give you an idea of what I was thinking throughout notification of these changes I was literally sitting there thinking I think this person is just trolling like I think somebody has just decided like people count me as a credible source so let me just post these things that are like the worst possible things that could happen to these characters and just make people freak out like that's how bad that the changes are in my mind so yes if they stick around they're terrible changes and Arc System Works is making it a very easy decision to not support uh CP2 like it's just, uh, I already I'm already on the fence about whether or not I'm even going to consider getting it and if this is the showcase of the balancing decisions they're interested in where they're basically they're not really I don't know they're just there's a lot a lot of them are so stupid they're just very very stupid right now and so that's basically what we're gonna have to wait and see are they going to remain stupid or are they going to shape up and be like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> These changes were dumb, are bad, let's fix this. That's that's what we have to watch out for in the future. But yeah, right. I, I will say, right now, if this was the final change list, and this is what they said, okay, this right here is how CP2 is going to be. Enjoy it, we'll release it whenever. 
then it would be a very easy decision to not buy that and I would not even have any like afterthoughts I wouldn't have any kind of like regret about it I would just be okay I'm ignoring this game and I don't even care anymore so yeah I mean that's that's right now but I don't I, I do think there really shouldn't be as much like emotion over this as there is right now because they're going to continue rebalancing it they've got multiple low tests that they're going to do so they're going to continue making changes and some stuff's going to leave some stuff's going to stay we'll see once there's a final change list and we know what sticks that's the, gonna be the time to be emotional but right now definitely not that's why this video is short and sweet but yeah I'm just I don't know I don't think it's worth it's certainly it's worth discussion just because sometimes you can get a point of view that you never considered and that's always worthwhile but I don't think it merits the emotion that it's gathering right now I don't think it's worth I don't think it's worth that effort but we'll see. So, thank you for listening. Sorry this was short. Sorry this was devoid of gameplay. We'll we'll give I'll get back to that as soon as I can.